we're going to look at next are slant asymptotes. So uh, this the slant asymptote uh, has a possibility of happening if you have no uh, horizontal asymptote then there's a chance for a slant asymptote and we will have one if uh, you will have one if the degree of the numerator is one larger than the degree of the denominator so we know we do not have a, a horizontal asymptote if the numerator has a higher degree and we will have a slant asymptote if it increase if it's larger by one than the denominator to find what we're going to do is we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. The quotient will be the slant asymptote, which should be linear. And then we're going to ignore the remainder because as x gets really, really large, that fraction that's represented by your remainder will basically uh, turn into zero. So it's kind of irrelevant to us. So let's see if we can't find the slant asymptote. As you can see in this one, we have no horizontal asymptote because the degree of the numerator is 2 and the denominator is 1. So therefore, we know that does not exist. So to find our slant asymptote, what we're going to do is we're going to take our denominator and divide it into our numerator. Now, as you can see in this one, we have multiple options. We could use long division, because you can use long division all the time. Or you can do synthetic division, because our divisor is linear. So I'm going to go ahead and do synthetic division. So first, I'll set it equal to 0 to get that number right there, 1. In my uh, nice little uh, numerator, I do need to hold place value, so remember to always do that. And I'm not laughing out loud, by the way. So when I bring that down, uh, I will get a nice little 1. Anything below the line gets multiplied by what's in the box. Add those two together. Multiply. And add. Now before, we would really hope to get 0, but the 0 is kind of irrelevant right now, but we will write it, and I'll show you why. Uh, we took a second degree polynomial and divided it by a first degree polynomial. So my answer has to be of a degree of 1 over my divisor. So this is my quotient and this is my remainder. Now as x gets really, 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 really large, like this will change values. But this right here, say you're talking about 2 divided by 4, well that's a half. But if you're talking about 2 divided by 100, now you're looking at 1 50th. If you're talking about 2 divided by a million, you're looking at 1 500,000. So as you can see, it's going to get pretty, pretty small. So what we're really only concerned about for our slant asymptote will be the equation y is equal to x plus 1. So that's going to be our slant asymptote. It's going to take on similar characteristics as a horizontal asymptote. As x gets, uh, goes to positive infinity or to negative infinity, your graph should approach the horizontal asymptote from either the top, I mean the, the slant asymptote from the top or the bottom.